Welcome to EO Talks, Eastern Oregon's very own talk show, only here on EO Alive. My name is Sam Palmer. I'm running for the United States Senate against Ron Wyden. Ron Wyden has never held a job in a private sector job in 40 years, and uh, it's time to uh, put some fresh eyes on some new problems and and uh, put a new uh, senator in Washington, D.C. So as a professional, I've been a, register, a, a professional registered nurse for 35 years. I've spent most of that time in emergency and trauma, including uh, flight nursing, whether it be rotor wing or fixed wing, um, emergency rooms, critical care units. Uh, I currently work uh, in surgery and oncology, and I own a small logging company uh, with a business partner for about the last 25 years. I uh, was elected uh, in the last cycle um, as a Grant County Commissioner after the 2015 Canyon Creek Complex fire, um, instead of just sitting back and letting, um, and just complaining and let other people do the work, I decided to run for office. Uh, it was a contended race and uh, I won by, I think, uh, seven to 10% of the vote. Um, and I feel I've been successful as a county commissioner. Um, I sit on uh, the Blues Intergovernmental uh, Intergovernmental Council rewriting the forest plan for the Malheur, the Wallowa Whitman, and the Umatilla National Forest. I co chair the Forest Health Subcommittee with uh, Commissioner Roberts out of Wallowa County. And we, I believe, we've written a really good document to, to help move that piece forward. I've also worked in uh, major floods, major fires, and an ongoing pandemic. So uh, I feel like I've got a lot of experience uh, sitting through uh, a lot of those issues. So I was born and raised in John Day. I moved off and went to college in uh, Blue Mountain Community College in Pendleton where I received my nursing degree. Um, what got me interested in medicine was uh, I started driving for our local volunteer ambulance when I was in, uh, in high school uh, because uh, most of the the people that were working on it didn't know how to put on tire chains, and so the local one of the local dispatchers asked me to to start driving. So I I entered medicine that way. Um, I got my nursing degree in uh, 1986 from Pendleton. During that time, I was also a volunteer at the Pendleton Fire and Ambulance Service, um, and was entered into their sleeper program. To put myself through college, um, I paid for it as I went. Um, I was a wildland firefighter who uh, uh, worked on the Grant County or the John Day Hell Attack crew uh, most of those years as a squad boss. During that time, I did receive an award for saving a civilian bus driver's life um, in a fire blow up incident um, east of town here. Um, the lady was actually from Pendleton. And uh, I received uh, the Forest Service highest award for that. I was uh, given a nice uh, trip back to Washington, D.C. and a card from uh, President Bush and his wife, Barbara. Um, I uh, started a small logging company um, with my business partner, and that has been very successful over about the last 25 years. So work has really been um, no stranger to me. Um, I lost my first wife to colon cancer at age 40. Uh, we had three children. Um, and that's kind of what prompted my passion for, for working in oncology um, and surgery to, to help that along. Uh, I think that, uh, that uh, it has been very fulfilling for me. Um, in 2015, when the Canning Creek Complex fire uh, came through town, I, uh, me and one other person helped save several homes. And, uh, and so I've always had a life of public service. Um, I was a, a reserve police officer. I was a reserve for the sheriff's office. Um, later on, I became a TAC team medic for uh, high risk search warrant and entry into, uh, into whether there be guns or drugs. Um, and I was doing that as far as up to last year. Um, and then being elected a county commissioner has truly been an honor. Working with the Eastern Oregon Counties Association, the Association of Oregon Counties, and the National Association of Counties. I've taken two trips to Washington, D.C. 
and uh, worked on projects um, that mostly are forest related, but uh, um, has just been very fruitful for our, uh, our communities and our rural way of life. So I was born and raised in John Day. We are still an ag dependent uh, community. We still uh, have one sawmill running one shift um, and, and we raise cattle. Um, I'm happy to say that we are one of the three forests that are moving, actually moving timber. Uh, our forest supervisor has been uh, very good at doing that. What I'm sad to report is that we still hold one of the highest unemployment rates and one of the highest suicide state uh, rates in the state of Oregon which is is not acceptable and i think we can lead that back to uh, several reasons um, and i think that uh, those reasons can be fixed if the right person's in office i think uh, rural oregon and our communities have been neglected for far too long and and i aim to put a fix to that problem the oregonians that have have talked to me um, have really um, brought up um, a handful of issues, election integrity being one, public safety and the anarchy that's going on in Portland is one, environmental and personal property damage from smoke and wildfire and the environment is one, border security and immigration is one, mental health, addiction and homelessness, uh, which has been drug trafficking, human trafficking, uh, migrant worker trafficking and all the issues that go with it. And then failure of our senior elected officials to listen to our local elected officials. And I think that it has a, a major portion to play with um, Ron Wyden Senate Bill 192, the River Democracy Act, which will take another 4,700 miles of uh, rivers and streams and place them into wild and scenic designation. And then um, that locks up like 3 million, over 3 million acres of land uh and it takes it off limits to being to be able to be managed and, and he did not talk to one elected official uh when it when it uh, one local elected official or state representative when that uh, when he introduced that legislation now he knows that um he has protections written into that that you can still do that but he knows the ninth circuit court of appeals um, always rules on the most stringent and strict rules and the wild and scenic designation is far more strict than what he has written in that bill. And I'm afraid that we're going to see more fire, more smoke. Uh, and the smoke carries over 70 cancer causing chemicals. Um, it hasn't been studied real hard, mostly out of Canada. But that puts our, our people and our economy at risk. And that is something that as a county commissioner and through the Eastern Oregon Counties Association, I have uh, been one of the key players in taking the lead on um, on fighting this bill um, uh, at the state, federal, and local level, and uh, and I will continue to fight it until until I'm done. Uh, so um, whether I get elected into uh, the United States Senate or if I remain a county commissioner or not, I will fight this one uh, tooth and nail the whole way through. So I I've studied and read a lot of World War II history, whether it be the Pacific Theater or the uh, or the English Theater. Um, and Rex Barber from Culver, he flew 110 combat missions and is believed to have uh, downed the plane that, uh, that carried Admiral Yamamoto. He was awarded uh, the Navy Cross, the Purple Heart, two silver, silver stars, and several other military honors. And, and I think that the combat, he was a, a, obviously in the, in the Pacific theater and, uh, and to achieve that and be an Oregonian and then come back and, and live your life in, in a small town of Culver um, uh, speaks volumes to me. So my personal values were framed mostly from my personal and professional experiences that, and those led me to, to Christianity. Christianity which now guide my values. I've had several near-death experiences, two of which were in both of those fires that I mentioned. And I believe that uh, I was, my life was spared for a higher purpose. And that's, again, what led me, uh, led me to Christianity and, and, and to Christ. Um, 
that it just helps solidify my beliefs and um, and the the life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And and the Christianity has formed that uh, very strongly in in my life. Well, I would hope not from my opponents. I think first off, um, I I would hope that that doesn't happen. Um, it won't happen for me. Uh, that is my promise. In fact, I've offered other candidates to stay at my house if, uh, as campaign funds can be tight. Um, I believe that we're all on the same same team to unseat Ron Wyden and that um, one of us will, will win the primary and be that. And I don't have any dirt on any of the other can candidates, nor do I care to have any dirt on any of the other candidates. Um, I feel that we're all on the same team. We're just vying to be the starting quarterback. The only criticisms, criticism so far that I've had in my campaign is I'm not sure where it came from, but somebody accused me of being a moderate. And uh, my answer to that is, you know, I come from one of the, the most, if not the most conservative county in the state of Oregon. And I've been elected to three different positions and you don't do that being a moderate. Uh, next up is our famous lightning round. So first off, ducks or beavers? No ducks. Alrighty. What is your favorite Oregon landmark? I have to say it's the Oregon Trail. It, uh, it just shows what you can do if you put your, your mind and your heart and your soul to it. That's right. Uh, do you have a favorite Oregon beer? You know, I, I don't drink much and I don't drink often. But one of my coworkers gave me a salted caramel porter from Cascade Brewing in Redmond just a couple of days ago. And I got to say, I did like it. Ooh, that sounds really good. Uh, last up, what is your favorite place in Eastern Oregon? I have to say Canyon Mountain is my favorite place in Eastern Oregon. It lays right out my back window. I spend a lot of time on it. I own property on it. And uh, the, the views are just spectacular. It's my favorite spot. Sounds like a beautiful place. And, and whether it be fires and smoke, the economy, the borders, uh, drug addiction, drug trafficking, human trafficking, homelessness, things that Russia's doing now, the things that China is doing now, or anything that's out, anything else, any of these issues, it's time to retire Ron Wyden. He's been in office for 40 years. Um, he voted uh, down. Uh, because of a campaign donor to not end slavery in China. Um, but that kind of tells me where his heart lies. You know, I've stood in the, in the face of death. I can certainly stand in the face of the Democrats in Washington, DC. Our state and our nation depend on it now more than ever. I'm proven electable and I'll fight dearly for all of us. All, and it's just time to retire Ron Wyden. You can check me out at sampalmerforsenate.com um, I'm easily accessible and, uh, I would just appreciate any and all support that you guys have to offer. And, uh, I do pledge to the other candidates that whoever wins, I will be behind. So, um, I appreciate them for, for entering the race and running also. This is not an easy task. So thank you.